Disturbing new details coming out of Iran, where authorities say they're now investigating the poisoning of nearly a thousand schoolgirls across the country. It's been going on for months, according to local media reports, but a new wave of suspected poisoning this week have led officials to say they may be deliberate attacks aimed at preventing girls from going to school. Take a look at this scene from outside one high school in Tehran this week. The fear and anxiety palpable as parents flock to the school following what the person filming says was, quote, a tear gas attack that left everyone poisoned. I want to bring in NBC's John Schlutterman, who has been following this story for us. Also with us, Nayar Mortazavi, an Iranian-American journalist and host of the Iran podcast. Josh, give us the details. What do we know so far? Well, Chris, even though the first reported incident of this took place all the way back in November, uh, it has really gained a lot more attention and concern uh, in recent weeks as the scale has only grown to some 30 schools across Iran, with a member of Iran's parliament saying yesterday that the number of school children affected by this is now about 800, with many of those school girls uh, reporting symptoms such as uh, problems with breathing, problems with uh, their heartbeat, as well as even headaches, nausea, uh, and in some cases, uh, numbness. They have also reported smelling strange odors that smelled either like rotten eggs or like chlorine or uh, cleaning chemicals. But uh, despite the fact that there have been these reports for months, it really wasn't until this week that Iran's leadership began to address this head on with President Ibrahim Raisi making his first public comments about it this week, uh, launching that investigation uh, as top Iranian officials have now begun to say they believe this might might have been uh, an intentional targeting of schoolgirls in an effort to try to shut down schools uh, for girls in Iran, which would really be a shift, because while there are very serious uh, women's rights concerns in Iran that have fueled those protests that we've seen uh, all the way back since September, uh, Iran's theocratic government has really never targeted girls' education the way, for example, the Taliban has in Afghanistan. In Iran, uh, the government is very proud of the fact that more than half of universities students uh, are women uh, and females make up almost half of the workforce there. And so uh, if this is an effort to try to prevent women from being able to seek an education, as many in Iran now fear, that would certainly be a very concerning turn of events. Nagar, what do you think is going on here? What are you hearing? Well, as your colleague said, Chris, this started back in November in the religious city of Qom, just outside Tehran, but now it's spread to multiple cities, the capital, Tehran, multiple uh, schools and other small cities like Ardabil, Burujert. So it no longer looks like an incidental issue or arbitrary. It's clearly coordinated. There must be powerful forces behind this. And it's also coming on the back of months of essentially a feminist uprising in Iran where women and young girls were at the forefront of these protests against the entirety of the system, uh, discrimination against women, the mandatory hijab rule. So there's various different theories, but overall there's massive amounts of anger across the country. Um, especially by these parents, who some of which actually, when they protest outside the schools or demand answers, are also met with violence by security forces. But um, they're basically demanding a thorough investigation and a stop to what looks like systematic and deliberate attacks on these school children.